Today's project is installing an underlayment over a concrete floor. This is the product that I'll be using. It's called Floor Muffler LVT Ultra Seal. Here is the product information sheet and on the other side the installation instructions. And of course, all the stuff that I needed for this project. Most of the items are linked below in the description box. I chose the Floor Muffler LVT because it can go over concrete and because it's recommended for the vinyl plank floor that I put on top. I usually like Demo Day, but ripping out this ugly carpet was really gross. So how much of this stuff do I need? I began by taking the room's measurements, the width and the length. And then I searched for Lowe's calculator. For this project, I used the Roll Insulation Calculator. I entered the measurements from my room, click Calculate. So for my room, I need 197.4 square feet of insulation. So that means I need two rolls. The reason I need two rolls is because the floor muffler that I bought only covers 100 square feet. Therefore, class, I need two rolls of underlayment to cover my floor of 197.4. Okay, that wasn't creepy. Ready, go! Make sure your concrete floor is clean. I removed the carpet and the pad, and then I scraped off all the carpet glue. Removed the carpet tacks and nails and the baseboard. So there was a little accident right here on this one, but my baseboard's gonna be tall enough and it'll cover that. Or you can just use this stuff and patch it up. And I even vacuumed around the edges to get everything nice and clean, ready for the underlayment. The concrete should be level and not have any holes in it. I patched all these holes with the concrete patch. It's dry, clean, and ready. Now I have to figure out in which direction to lay out the underlayment. I'm going to lay out the floor in this direction. So the manufacturers of floor muffler recommend running the underlayment opposite to the way the floor will be installed. This is to avoid the underlayment and the flooring seams lining up with each other. I started in the corner on the left side next to the wall. I rolled out the underlayment making sure the pink side was on the right facing down. Be sure to leave at least two inches going up the wall when you install the underlayment. As you can see, I have a lot of this um, vinyl flooring helping me out by holding down the underlayment. But you have to be really careful with the underlayment. As you can see, it, it cuts very easily. So, so be very careful with it. Once the floor muffler is rolled out, it should look like this. On one side, you have your film, and then the other, the adhesive. You want the rolls to be butted up right next to each other. So go down the line and make sure that's the case. The underlayment is really easy to cut. I've just been using scissors to cut. Or you can use the blade. Of course, make sure you have something underneath it. To cut the corners here, what you do, press it in a little bit so you have the indention. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here. So, that way, that wraps around. I had a heck of a time pulling the film apart. 
So I did the old scotch tape trick. You know, you put one tape on one side here, and then the other on this side, and then you pull it apart. You just pull it, up, pull it apart. It's hard to do it with one hand, but I hope you get the idea. So pull out that film all the way down. All the way down. Until it looks like that. Then lift the side with the adhesive. And then when you place it back on, be sure to butt it up right against each other, but don't overlap it. And of course, I'm just gonna go down the line until that's all done. The next step, which I think is the fun part, is pulling the adhesive then make sure Seal it. So I'm just going to go down the line here and then go back and pull and seal. Now look how close that is. Pretty good job if I do stay so myself. And you're straightening as you're going along. The adhesive does a really good job of doing its job of sticking. So I'm really happy with that. There's my last roll. So I placed a mark here where I'm going to cut it. I contacted the manufacturer and asked them the recommendation for covering up all these mistakes. And they recommended a good packing tape. So finally, here is the completed installation of the underlayment ready for the vinyl plank flooring to be installed. And this is how it all turned out with the base molding, quarter round, and the vinyl plank floor. I'm having trouble separating this film, so I'm going to do that old scotch tape trick. Put one tape in the back. One on the front here. And then you separate it. It may take a couple tries. Nope, it's not doing it. <laughs> 